There appear to be many people that own an amplifier or CD player that can function as a DAC or an older DAC with only an SPDIF input. I was asked several times if I know an affordable USB to SPDIF converter so that they can connect it over USB to their computer. Finally I found one. But how does it sound? The Armature Ekate LT from Audiophonics is the simplified version of the Ekate without LT. The latter cost almost 200 euros and contains circuits that clean up the signal. The LT version on review here only converts USB audio class 2 to SPDIF and costs only 89 euros. Why is the price of importance? Well, if your DAC, CD player or amplifier only has SPDIF inputs, chances are it's not the most advanced and up to date device. A cheap solution can elongate the use of that device but in the end you will probably want to replace it and then the converter has no use anymore. But how good is the Ekati LT? Let's first look at the device at hand. I have seen USB to SPDIF converters costing considerable more that just had plastic housing. The Ekate LT comes in a sturdy metal case that measures 130 by 58 by 26 mm. On one short side we find the USB Type-B input and on the opposite side the SPDIF output on a gold plated RCA connector. On top three lights, one to indicate that power is received over USB, one that indicates a valid signal and one to indicate the presence of a DSD signal. No controls, it just works. Inside a single PCB with left the USB B connector, a 4 megabit memory, I presume for buffering, the XMOS processor that does the interfacing and some local power regulation and oscillators like here for the digital output. That output is transformer decoupled and fed to the gold plated RCA connector. Again simple and basic, but neat. Given the XMOS processor is USB class 2, it will work with all computers without drivers with the exception of Windows for which a driver can be downloaded from the product page on audiophonics.fr. The Ekate LT adds very little to the sound. Feed it a poor USB signal and you get a poor SPDIF signal back. Feed it a close to perfect USB signal and you get an SPDIF signal back that hasn't suffered much from the conversion. No, it's not equal. Listening over my well tweaked 20,000 euro setup one, you can hear you lose some transparency, a slight coloration in the mid range and somewhat glassier highs. That is when it is fed from the SOTM networked audio adapter. People that seek this kind of device will normally own less costly equipment. In my sub 1000 euro setup 3, these artifacts were not audible and in my 4000 euro setup it was noticeable but only slightly. In all cases digital, you don't want to convert from one interface type to the other if not needed. And if you do, you better do it well. Especially with external devices like this, each device has its own clock and have to lock in to the clock of the pre previous device and each and every step therefore will cause jitter unless expensive technology is used. It is therefore remarkable that the Ekati LT performs so well. It might be that therefore the name Ekati was given to it, for Ekati was a Greek goddess that was associated with magic and witchcraft, but also with entranceways and crossroads, which might be the most appropriate here. Anyway, for 89 euros you buy a converter that lets you connect your SPDIF device to a USB output on your computer. Ok, it took me a long time to find the answer, but I did find it. So it pays to subscribe to this channel or follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Google+. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel through Patreon or PayPal. Any financial support is much appreciated and guarantees my independence. The links are in the comments. Help me to help even more people enjoy music at home by telling your friends on the web about this channel. 
I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. Whatever you do, enjoy the music.